Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Legacy Mod Menu. A mod that simply adds legacy fabrics, capabilities of mod menu. Now it's not completely there, like you can't access configs, but a lot of the same stuff is there. Uh, I've never actually covered the original mod menu, which I've been wanting to do for a while, but there is obviously a lot of deeper stuff. Uh, but I assume since there's a few things that aren't here with this one that it was worth covering, and also as well to let people know there is even one for Legacy Fabric at the moment. Uh, so, yeah. So, as you can see here, it adds the Mods button. Don't know what the gap is here between the buttons. I assume that's a bug or something, I'm not sure. Uh, and you can see we can access all the mods that are available here. So, obviously, we can select each one. We can find out the description for each. You can see there's no uh, sort of gear cog sort of um, button in, on the side because there's no configs or any of these or any of them interconnected with mod menu at all. So, uh, that's currently the state of it at the moment. Obviously, with the uh, regular mod, you would have access to that. Uh, but we just have the descriptions here, we've got the website, which allows us to obviously view where we can get this from. Um, that'll open in a different web browser though, so yeah, I don't know. Actually no, I can copy the clipboard, so that's fine. So you can open in browser, which will obviously go to your default browser. I'm not going to do that, because it's going to open a different one than what I want to use. Uh, I just haven't found it yet, I haven't thought about it. Um, you can copy to clipboard, or you can cancel. So we can copy to clipboard this one here, for example, and we can go to... Oh, come on, where are you? Can you, can you, can you do that for me? Thanks. For some reason that's not doing it. I don't know why. Either way. Um, we'll try this with a different one. No, nope, okay, it's just the clipboard. Okay, so there's no link there, that's why. Yeah, so that's just the case for that one. That's that. Yeah, that's on GitHub, so I assume that's not there, or it's not been put into something else, so... That's on fabric, that's mod print, there's not counted as one, so that's interesting. That's also from Curse Forge, so that's fine. So this will definitely work here, as you can see. Uh, we've got issues, if we ever need to do that, we can obviously access this and we'll go to the GitHub page, and then obviously you can do your issues there, if there's any bugs or certain other things of note to report. Um, obviously we can see all the fabric related deeper stuff here, I can hide that, I think, or we'll view more of them. Um, so there's showing and hiding libraries there, we can sort by A to Z if we want. Uh, you can't drag the scroll bar though, you can only use the mouse wheel it seems, so that's interesting as well. Uh, we can't search either, so there's no search bar uses at all, it's just a box basically at this point. Uh, there's toggling of stuff there, so we can find out how many mods there are, as well as all the extra stuff. It counts also how many libraries as well, so that's interesting. We move down a bit further, obviously you can see the base game, you can see mod menu itself here. OptiFabric, you know, punch to Prime, and that's pretty much it, besides all the other technical library and other nice stuff. Uh, that is going to show the original mod menu, not this one, because this one's from Modrinth. Interesting, so it goes for the original there. That's interesting to see. That's going to that one, and I'm assuming... I mean, this is on Curse Forge, but this is not showing it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, otherwise, we can open the Mods folder, which you can do here. Um, obviously, I've got all the Legacy Fabric mods that I want to set up for a mod pack here, so that's fine. Um, I can access whatever else I want here, which I don't need to right now. And that is pretty much it, it just adds the button. Um, searchable and sortable... Meh. Sortable, yes, you can still view them, but you can't use the search bar. Marked with a certain badge for specific things, if it's a library or otherwise. Clicking a mod in the list, is it's, you can select home page and other things, and the mod details, that's the user configure the mod, which obviously you can't configure mods in this way yet. Um, I don't I think there is a hundred configs really for many of these mods. There's view fabric and mod menu itself, and that's about it basically. Oh, and craft presence, typical stuff. So sending order and libraries being shown. 
Minecraft Presence has all of its features, and then Beer Fabric goes into its stuff, so yeah, pretty much just a few. But uh, that is it, pretty much. Obviously, the regular one has a bit more of accessing configs and probably a few other deeper things, um, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I've seen Neat Legacy Fabric API in there, and uh, it's just a port of mod menu. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.